how do you confront a friend who has hurt you? And I don't. Do you? Uh, sometimes. Tell me. Yes. Uh, you know, I like to use the word, instead of confront, and I'm a lawyer, we do confront. <laughs> it's, that's no problem. The harder part is to confirm. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes okay. friends hurt us, but it's for our own good. Sometimes mm. friends hurt us and they mean to, and some God's working something in them. And the scripture says, the wise man learns by listening. Man, meaning Amen. mankind, person, mm -hmm. uh, learns by listening. Ask the question instead of assuming what they said was what they meant and ask questions. That's how Jesus was. That's why he was so, he was just so radical, so revolutionary. He didn't preach, he asked questions. I mean, he right. did preach, mm -hmm. but yeah, he, yeah. he preached by asking questions. Mm -hmm. Ask your friend, what did you mean by that? Yes. Did you mean yeah, this? I that's took good. it this that's way. Good. Or don't even say how you took it. Mm -hmm. You may be totally wrong or you may be totally right. But it, truth is going to prevail in the end. Ooh, so ask the questions. Confirm, what not What do you confront. think, Sid? Well, when you were talking, Roxy, about the whole confirming thing, because I'm bringing it back that's to like, our, like my best friend with my husband, because that's a lot of confrontation happens, you know, when there's communication <laughs> breakdown. But one thing that we were learning and as we were walking through therapy is just understanding is like, I like you said, confirming. So before we go into, okay, we're going to go into a, a, this situation, we start building each other. You know, I really appreciate when you do this, or I like when you take out the trash or how you, you know, I, we mm -hmm. set it up in a way that it's just like, okay, this is what I appreciate. And then we kind to go in a little bit but you know when you said this this is how I felt and I think that has just been really helpful for us to like just set it up because I think a lot of times with confrontation it can immediately feel like an attack and your guard yes, is up yes. and you're feeling triggered and you're like da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. so I think a really good way is that I've been you know working with my husband is that you know he's my like my best friend is that just talking like okay this is how I, you know I love you this is what you're doing but let's talk about this and even with my female friendships we've had to have these hard conversations and I think you know just making sure your heart is palatable and ready mm -hmm. to receive it, but we all need a correction and course shift from our friends. Ooh, I don't know because I, I don't, you can probably believe tell by the way I answer things. I don't really believe in confrontation. And when I am offended, I take it off right away and give it right to the Lord. And I really believe that there's power in the tongue. So a quick retort to being offended is gonna be worse. That's my opinion. What do you think there, miss? Well. I think <laughs> I don't agree with you. <laughs> she tried to not make a quick retort. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like passing by She's Kathy confirming. and looking over at Flo. Oh, okay. Because there, you know, like a true friendship, you, there's honesty, you know, and there's, you know, it, it it's almost dishonest to not confront, you know, a friendship, but. I, I think there's also something as timing. You know, if a friend is going through something and you're like, well, I, I have to be honest and I have to confront them about this. Yeah, yeah. And they're going through other things like, it, you, you have to be discerning about the timing, mm -hmm. the tone. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many nuances that you really have mm -hmm. to be. And, like, I don't know, Kathy, I know you say like, you give it to God and you forget it, but I do. do you really yes, like, I, do. I, I think that there's, you know, pushing it under the rug, like it's underlying there and that it's eventually going to come out. Like I've had friendships where it, you know, like down the road and it could be years, like something tiny ends up becoming this explosion yeah. because you never talked about these issues that you really did need to talk about. And it's both parties need that, you know? And sometimes you might need a third party to help you through that or whatever, but there is, there's good that comes out of confrontation, yeah. but there are nuances you have to deal with in that. Huh. <laughs> I, I almost feel like I want to like do something to Kathy to see if this is real. <laughs> but I would never. I would if never. you knew what I have had done to me I know. and zipped it, what do you have, sister? <laughs> this is a great 
question. <laughs> because She's look what it, it just get we're speechless. It just keeps growing and growing. And <laughs> let, let me just come from this point. God bless. I am praying for you who, who? just has a oh. struggle with confrontation. Um, I think that maybe your first step is let's pray and ask God to give you the grace and the boldness because a friend speaks the truth at all times. You do it in love, there, as you, you, you well put the nuances of it. Um, if I am hurting, I can do something to you and be totally unaware that I wounded you. Yes. That's not my heart. I wanna know, give me the opportunity to make it right. So if you don't share that with me, then I'm clueless, you know what I'm saying? And, and I don't wanna be walking in sin. So I wanna get it right with you, I wanna get it right with God, and I wanna learn from it. So when you don't bring it to my attention, you rob me of all of that. Well, <laughs> that is a good answer. These are all good answers, yes. mm -hmm. and I love you all. We love another you too. Little quick thing I want to add it is like I think it's boundaries too. Is that like I think with confrontation it's like you have to confront things and so you have personal boundaries and it's mm -hmm. healthy. So I know a lot of people it's like oh let's stuff it down and pretend it doesn't exist, mm -hmm. but you have to deal with it. Confrontation, I heard one person say, it's a way that we're able to exercise the fruit of the spirit. God gives us that opportunity to exercise peace, love, that. joy, patience, so long good. suffering. I'm glad I allowed you to go past my boundary. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to close this section of the show. We will be right back, stay there.